What's going on you guys and welcome back to the A-Ray Show. So because of all the inflation fears that have been going on for the past year or so, we're going to be talking about the best ways that you can protect your assets against inflation and also what are the best assets that you can get into to kind of fight and hedge against inflation. So if you guys want to see all that, stay tuned and cue that intro. So before we head into my personal favorite way to hedge against inflation, here's a list from Investopedia where they have a list of nine assets that will help protect against inflation. And as always, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check out these articles for yourself. So some of the ones that they mention are gold, bonds, and commodities. These are all really good ones, but they're not going to be the focus on this video. I'll probably do a future video on those in the future, but for now, those aren't the ones that we're going to be focusing in on. So number one, we've got real estate income. So this is one that I personally am not in yet, but it's one that I'm looking to build to the future. And the reason why real estate income is so great is because it's passive income, but it's also reliable income, no matter what is going on with the economy. Not only will the prices of your property increase over time, especially during inflation, but you can also, as a landlord, charge more for rent. So that's just passive income that's going to be growing alongside inflation. And it's a great way to hedge against inflation because, like the saying, if you can't beat them, join them. You're basically going along with inflation with that rent. And of course, your property value is going to go up as well. So... This one's a little bit harder to get into as compared to stocks or some of the other ways that we're going to be talking about, especially because you need to have a larger amount of capital. But with that being said, let's hop into one that you need a little bit less money of. So yeah, we've got real estate, which is pretty hard to invest into, especially if you don't have that large amount of capital. But an easier way in a way that I think is the easiest and probably my most favorite way to hedge against inflation is to have a dividend portfolio and invest into dividend stocks. Dividend stocks is such an easy way to invest. You just have to find a good stocks that all you have to do is put your money in, get the dividends, and you're already beating inflation. So if you think about it, and after doing a little bit of research, the dollar had an average inflation rate of 2.20% per year between 2000 and today. So going a little bit further than that, the average dividend growth rate for stocks for dividend stocks is 5.4%. That's already almost doubling the yearly growth rate of inflation by just investing into dividend stocks. And that's why I mentioned that this is probably the easiest and best way to hedge against inflation. If you think about it, you can easily double the amount every single year, which is a cool way to beat inflation. And on top of that, capital appreciation and you're building towards your future. And just another quick thing to look at is if you look at the S&P 500 over the past six months, when we really got inflation fears was probably around February-ish, and then since then till now, we've only seen a huge upward trend for the S&P 500. And this is just a theory. And remember, guys, I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. I'm not smart or anything like that either. But my theory is a lot of people are getting concerned about inflation. So where are they going towards? Of course, people are going to go where they feel safe. And that's in the S&P 500. And that's why I've seen this huge growth for dividend stocks in the S&P 500. And that's just because everyone's feeling more safe in the S&P 500. So they're going to put their money there, knowing that it can outperform inflation by just a dividend growth rate. So in my opinion, this is probably one of the better places to put your money if you're looking to fight against inflation. So we talked about one of the most safest ways to keep your assets hedged against inflation through dividend stocks. Here's a little bit more of a riskier way, and that's through Bitcoin in particular. You can do this through multiple cryptocurrencies, but in my opinion, Bitcoin is probably one of the better cryptocurrencies. And it's actually a really one to hedge against inflation because it's more of a deflationary type of asset. And what I mean by that is there's a certain amount of circulating Bitcoin that's always going to be there. Once it's fully mined, there can be no more Bitcoin produced. And that caps out at 21 million. So that makes it unlike money where you can just print an unlimited amount of money and the price of things can just keep going up and up. But the thing with Bitcoin is because it's capped, it makes it a deflationary type of asset. And on top of that, the price will increase in terms of the value of a Bitcoin just because of the limited supply nature of Bitcoin. So in my opinion, it's a little bit more riskier than, let's say, dividend stocks per se. But it definitely is a way that can potentially hedge against inflation. And although recently we haven't really been seeing it do too much to hedge against inflation, especially over the past few months, 
but it still is a pretty good way if you're more into the riskier side of things or if you believe in cryptocurrency to hedge against inflation. So just to put a little bit of sugar onto cryptocurrency and Bitcoin as a whole, I'm going to be summarizing the key points as well as reading off the headline for this article. And before we head into the headline, I want to talk about Kathy Wood. So Kathy Wood is the head of ARK Invest Fund and she and her fund have been performing phenomenally and they've been exceeding expectations on the regular. And on top of that, her fund is based off of innovation. So you know that she has a pretty good opinion and insight when it comes to innovation, which you can argue cryptocurrency is a huge innovation, especially nowadays. So with that being said, let's read this headline. Kathy Wood sees Bitcoin joining stocks and bonds as a part of the classic balance portfolio. And for those of you guys that don't know what the classic balance portfolio is, is it's basically just a way to balance out your portfolio in a way that it can hedge against inflation, but also perform really well. So I believe that split would be 60% in equities and 40% in bonds. So what Kathy Wood is suggesting is she believes that the split in the future will look more like 60-20-20 and that would be 60% in equities which includes stocks, 20% in bonds, and 20% in cryptocurrency. So essentially she's saying that she believes that cryptocurrency can overcome bonds or even take the place of bonds to a certain amount in this classic balance portfolio. In my personal opinion, I think that she's completely correct. Cryptocurrency is not only a way to hedge against inflation similar to bonds, it can also outperform bonds and on top of that it's a form of a commodity in terms of it's it's similar to digital gold as that's kind of the consensus here but either way I also portfolio. So with that being said I want to let you guys know that I have about 15% allocated to cryptocurrency so I do believe this is a great way to hedge against inflation as well. With that being said, that's pretty much all I have for you guys for today. I will mention that the ones that I mentioned in this video are the ones that I'm more comfortable with and the ones that I believe will perform better than some of the other ways to hedge against inflation. Those being real estate income, owning property and having rental income, as well as dividend stocks and cryptocurrency. I do believe gold and commodities and even bonds are a good way to hedge against inflation. I just don't think that they're the best option in a good economy when there isn't that much inflation or in general, they might not perform as well as some of the other ones that I mentioned in this video. Either way, you can't really go wrong with any of these ways to protect against inflation. So with that being said, if you guys learned anything from this video or you got any value, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. So yeah, with that being said, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And guys, remember, everybody eats.